Okay, so in episode one of configuring the secure network topology, we looked at configuring these routers across the top and then getting these uh, devices up here set up so that they uh, could connect. And at the end of that, we were able to ping from our laptop here off of Lex Edge all the way to the server here over on the uh, Louisville Edge. So now what we want to do is uh, we want to do some switch configuration um, and then we want to do some uh, router configuration for this router here which we will call our router on a stick. And the router on a stick just means that it's able to configure between uh, the VLANs and uh, these two switches here. And so part of these uh, devices down here will be on uh, VLAN 1 or VLAN 10. Uh, part on VLAN 20, <clears throat> and then uh, this one device is actually going to be um, on VLAN 30, and it's going to be uh, routable and accessible from um, the other devices. So we're going to start here uh, with configuring these uh, switches here, and we'll go to uh, the uh, command line interface here, and obviously it's a switch, it uh, functions if you plug things into it, but everything that is inside of this, uh, everything that's connected here right now is uh, part of the same um, broadcast domain. So we want to break that up by using VLANs to secure between uh, the different uh, devices that are on the network. So we're going to uh, go into our switch and we're going to do enable the same way we, that we did with the routers. Um, We'll do um, CONFT and we will put our host name here and we're going to call this DAY SW1. <clears throat> um, we will do um, create a VLAN, uh, which we call VLAN 10, and we're going to name that Human Resources HR. We'll do a VLAN 20. And we will name that one Sales. And we'll do a VLAN 30. And we're going to name that one General. So what we've done now is we created um, three different VLANs in addition um, to the um, default VLAN uh, of VLAN 1. And now we're going to actually take individual uh, interfaces and we're going to place them into one of those particular um, VLANs. And we're going to do a um, show run here again um, so we can see uh, the kind of interfaces we have. So you'll notice that we have interface, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 through 24 and we have two gigabit um, interfaces and we're going to use those um, for the uh, trunk ports. Uh, it is going to be that I'm going to need to switch um, the uh, the location of a couple of things here but since we do have gigabit ports here we want to use those uh, for our trunking ports. <clears throat> and we're going to use trunking so that we don't have to have a uh, a single line connecting VLAN 1 on one side to VLAN 1 on the other and VLAN 10 on one side to VLAN 10 on the other, um, etc. So tracking allows us to send those uh, tagged packets across uh, one single um, line and they'll be um, you know untagged on the other side and put into the correct VLAN. So uh, <clears throat> you'll notice that we still are in um, VLAN configuration mode here. So we'll get us into um, our uh, interface configuration mode. And we'll do 0 slash 1. I think that's the one that connects us out um, to the first PC here. And we're going to do this one as switch port mode access and we actually should have done that switch port yeah switch port mode access switch port 
access VLAN 10. <clears throat> so port number one has been made an access uh, switch port, which means that it is a, um, it's not a trunking port and it's been placed into VLAN 10. And then on our fast Ethernet 0 2, um, we're going to do that one as switch port mode or switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 20 <clears throat> for port 3. We're going to do switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 30. Now currently, um, I didn't have these on uh, gigabit, so I'm going to move those over gigabit on that side. And let's see if I can click this in the right spot. Just get this ready. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. Uh, so here I've actually put a couple of different uh, switch types in. Um, it's a little bit uh, problematic. Um, but this one... Um, has gig ports on it, and this one, um, this one doesn't. Uh, so what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to um, delete this particular device. So I'll highlight it and press delete, and that's going to get rid of that. Um, let's go back here to switches <clears throat> and. Let's see, is this the one that I put up there? It is. So that's the one I don't want. Um, T. Is it 2960? I think it is. Okay, so let's do that. Let's connect it. Uh, we'll use a uh, crossover cable from gig one to gig one um, so that the traffic going between these two is uh, faster. And I'm going to do fast Ethernet one here. And we'll do port 2 going down to this device here. Okay, so I like that just a little bit better. Um, if you did have gigabit uh, connectivity here on this router um, and you put your other gig port uh, down to here, then that would uh, definitely speed up um, your InterVLAN routing speeds. Okay, so now that we have this port here, um, or this connectivity across here is gigabit, uh, I'm going to go back to um, switch one here, and we're going to do int g0. Actually, I'm going to do a do show run. Let's see how that's. Okay, so that is int g0 slash 1. g0 slash 1. And we'll do switch port. 
mode, instead of access, we're going to call this one trunk. We'll be trunking across it. And then um, the other connectivity that needs to be trunked here is the one up to um, this router up here. And I want to go ahead and put that in um, the zero slash TN. <clears throat> like I had my on my original topology. Um, it's going to a router that doesn't have gigabit connectivity, so there really isn't any reason to um, speed that up. Probably isn't any reason to speed any of them up. Um, I probably just made this a little bit more confusing by doing that. Um, but we'll do switch port mode trunk on that one and so so now we have the um, trucking established between the uh, two devices or this side of that connection here uh, we need to hop over here really quickly um, and um, before I do that I will do copy run, start for date and switch one <clears throat> let's come over here to uh, the uh, date and switch two, and we'll do uh, config t. We're going to uh, change the host name to daw-sw2. And we need to figure out here on our um, VLANs, we need to do VLAN 10, name HR again. We will do VLAN 20 and name sales. VLAN 30, name general, and we'll do int fa0 slash 1, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 10. FA0 slash 2 and we're going to put that into switch port mode access as well and then 20 <clears throat> and then we're going to do G0 slash one and yeah, we'll make that one a um, truck port okay so we have the two switches <clears throat> configured we don't have to configure IP addresses on them you configure IP addresses on switches um, just to uh, provide, you know, telnet connectivity in to them. Um, we notice that gig zero one here um, is up as well as the um, fast Ethernet zero um, slash one and zero slash two. And what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to put the IP addresses on these particular machines here. So we're going to go to IP configuration here, and this one uh, is 192.168.1.10, and we'll do 192.168.1.1. configure that one 
and this one here we will do as 192, 168, 2.10, 2.1 as the um, default gateway, um, this one will be 192, 168, 3.10 3.1 is default gateway and we will do One nine two one six eight two dot eleven on uh, two dot eleven. Let me double check. No, this one is one dot eleven. gateway of 1.1, 1 .1, 1 1.2, 1.6, 1 1.1. 1 .1. And this is slightly different from the topology. Maybe I should do this uh, just so it's a little less confusing. I probably should. Uh, just so that it matches the uh, topology here. So this is the 1.11 one. And this one here is going to be Two dot eleven. What's the default gateway of two dot one? Now two dot one is actually this interface up here. Um, so I can't actually get to that one yet, but I should be able to ping. First, um, happy config slash all, which uh, I'm on the, the right one, and I'll do ping one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot ten, which is the other uh, machine that's over here. Okay, so that works, um, and then this one should be able to ping. Oops, when you spell it correctly. Let's ping one nine two one six eight two dot ten and that works. Okay, <clears throat> so we now have uh, these devices, they're set up and they're working. Um, and so what we still have to configure is this device and uh, these two devices. This one's nothing. Uh, but here what we need to do is uh, create what's called a router on a stick, um, inner VLAN routing. And so we can ping down here on the bottom um, you know, we can ping from this device, um, which is the 1.11. We can ping over here to the 1.10. Um, now, we didn't try this, but let's do it right now just to um, prove this is correct. Let's ping 192. Let's 
1682.tn. And that doesn't work. They're connected into the same switch, but um, they're in different VLANs. So if they're in different VLANs, then you cannot uh, connect to them. If they're in the same VLAN, uh, if it's configured correctly, you should be able to. And, and our overall goal here is to separate these, but connect them. Where We split them apart and then we connect them. But when we connect them, we connect them through this router up here, which is our router on a stick. Um, and we can packet filter between those so that if you know this machine here wants to go to this machine it's got to go up to the router check to see whether that's allowed traffic if it is it comes back down if it's not it goes into the bit bucket and so that's what we're looking at doing um, in this uh, scenario here so we've got our VLAN set up correctly and so now what we want to do is come up here to this router we haven't done any configuration on this router yet I'm just waiting um, to kind of do it all together here um, so we'll do enable configure terminal <clears throat> and we don't have any IP addresses and we don't even have a host name so let's go ahead and put our host name on here first uh, this is our day int router and we're going to have a uh, fast Ethernet um, connecting us out the top here. Um, and so that is uh, has an IP address. Let's do FA0 slash 0, I think. I'm going to pick the router up and move it out a little bit so I can see that. Yes. It's FA0 slash 0, and we're going to put an IP address on that one of 192.168.0.2, and we'll no shut that, and it's going to come up. And we need to go ahead and put in our um, sub interfaces uh, here on the uh, bottom. I'm going to do copy run start. I'm going to do a show running configure. Do show run. Um, <clears throat> and what we want to look at here is so we get the fast Ethernet. Um, zero up here but I don't really like how we've got this connected right here um, so I'm going to click in this area somewhere it's always a little hard to actually grab a hold of these um, cables here maybe I have to get there that's what I'm doing uh, and that's a little interesting. We got um, one fast Ethernet, and we really only have that choice as far as this router. I'm not sure why this didn't copy down the same. Um, well, I, I guess we just didn't really worry about it up here because we didn't really have that many uh, Ethernet interfaces. So I should have done a, uh, a different interface here. Um, but we have what we have, so we're going to go ahead and move on with it. Um, so, what we're going to do here we'll go back to um, our configuration here, and I'm going to turn this router off. I'm going to lose some configuration, but that's fine because I can't actually use this uh, particular card here in so I just turned the router off. Um, let's see if we can get rid of this card here. Um,
And I'm going to do a copper fast teeth on that here. I'm going to turn it back on and um, hopefully you watch through all of this before you kind of get started so you don't make this uh, same sort of issue here. Okay, so power's back on. Um, I do um, want to go cable a um, go from here to this one here. And that's not right. Which one do we put actual uh, Okay, so I put it back in port 10 here. Sorry for the confusion on that. I know this is making it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Okay, so now this one is uh, back where we need to have it here. Um, so to do trunking, you have to have at least a 100 megabit connection. And uh, when I put this in, Initially, I was not thinking, and I put in a Ethernet instead of a fast Ethernet connection, which means that trucking um, actually wouldn't have worked on that topology. So, um, fortunately, I'm way into the um, creation of this uh, video, so um, probably just make a, a note at the beginning um, and ask you to. Uh, change that before you start okay so let's go back and we'll get in here we'll do enable um, let's do actually we're at the show run spot here without having to do that so our fast ethernet um, is still on here so we um, want to do um, Go back into global configuration mode. We'll do MTFA. And this one is uh, 1 slash 0 was the um, um, identifier for this interface. We'll do um, 1.0 and we'll do dot 10. And that is going to be um, a sub interface uh, for the uh, VLAN. So our initial documentation has zero slash one, and we're actually using uh, one slash zero in this example. Now, one of the things is that you know all these different devices that you might uh, configure they're all configured a little bit differently, and so you uh, just really have to be sort of quick on your feet and and uh, Make sure that your documentation is uh, updated whenever you're uh, doing anything here. Okay, so this is our fast Ethernet uh, 1 slash 0 10. We're going to encapsulate dot 1 Q um, and 10. So encapsulate. Encapsulation. Q10. Our IP address for this one is going to be 192.168.1.1. And our subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.0. And uh, we're not going to no shut this one, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. Um, We'll do our next sub interface, which is FA one slash zero dot twenty, and we are going to encapsulation dot one Q twenty. IP address for this one is one nine two dot. 168.2.1 and 
then our final one here is int fa1 slash 0 dot 30 encapsulation dot 1q 30 IP address on this one is 192.168.3.1. First, set that mask in. <clears throat> and now we're going to go to int fa1 slash 0, which is actual, not the sub interface, but it's the actual physical interface. And now that we have all the sub interfaces on it, we're going to go ahead and no shut the physical interface which will bring all of those uh, logical interfaces up. Now we've configured our one physical interface at the top, our three logical interfaces at the bottom. We still don't have um, router rip on it so let's do router rip and version Two and networks will be one nine two one six eight dot zero dot zero and one dot zero and two dot zero and three dot zero. Now, we have no filtering um, on this yet, but we do have our VLANs, we have inter-VLAN routing. Um, and so now, uh, just one second, let's do a do copy run start here. Uh, now, if I go into uh, one of these devices here that I couldn't ping from before, and so uh, let's say we wanted to ping, first off, let's do an IP config slash all. Let's, make sure where we're at. So we're in the, the uh, VLAN uh, 2 here. We're on 2.10, uh, VLAN 20. Uh, so now let's try to ping something that's on uh, VLAN 10. So let's ping 192.168.1.10. And so that's the device that is right here. Now, again, it's got to go from here, it's got to go all the way up here, go up to this router, and then come back. And always, if your uh, first ping fails, um, you know, one of those ping fails, then try, because it's not in the ARP cache. And so, uh, if you have an issue where the first request times out, but everything else is fine, then it's totally okay. It's not okay if you know, these up here work, and then maybe like this one doesn't work, then that's that's a problem. But um, if it's just that it's not in the ARP cache yet, yet uh, just ping again, you'll get 100% uh, reply um, on those. So now the bottom topology, <coughs> the bottom of our topology down here is uh, fully functioning up to right here. And so in episode three, uh, we're going to look at the uh, configuration of uh, some of the actual security elements, um, including the ASA.